Welcome to my first video. In this video I'm gonna be starting my series and showing you guys how to make your own Discord bot in Node.js. Let's get started. The first thing you're gonna be doing is heading down to the description and clicking the first link. This should take you over to nodejs.org. Here you're gonna be installing the recommended for most users version. After that head over to the description again and click the second link. This should take you over to Visual Studio Code as we're not going to be editing our code in Notepad and Visual Studio Code is just going to be making our coding a lot easier. Here you can choose the version you're on, so for example Windows, Linux or Mac. Then head over to the third link in the description which should take you over to Discord's developer portal. Here we're going to be making our bot. So click new application then enter the name of your application. I'm going to be calling my application tutorial. Hit create. Here you can choose an icon for your application. After that, head over to the left side and click bot. Then click add bot. Yes, do it. Here you can choose an icon for your bot that will appear in Discord. After that, head over to OAUTH2, click bot, choose the perms you want your bot to have. I'll be choosing administrator to make it easier. Then copy the link, open a new window and paste that link. Here you can choose the server you want your bot to be added to. I'll be choosing tutorial, hit continue authorize and there we go our bot has been added to our discord now let me set up some stuff and i'll get back to you okay we have now added our discord bot to the discord server and we will soon be starting with some code before we do that we need to head over to our desktop and make a new folder called whatever you want but i will calling it to bot. Open that folder up and copy the path of the folder. Go to your type your search bar and type in CMD. Here you'll be typing CD and paste the path. We are now redirected to the path and we should now be typing npm and then init. Here you'll be asked to fill out a bunch of info, so first package name, enter, version, enter, description, up to you, enter, entry point, enter, test command, enter, git repository, enter, keywords, enter, author, up to you, I'll be calling this for suffix, that's, that's my name, enter, license, enter, and yes. There you should see we made a file called package.json and in here all our info has been formatted nicely in a JSON format. Now we can start with some code. So open up the folder by right clicking the folder and opening with code. Then you'll be taken over to Visual Studio Code where we'll be making a new file called index.js. And this is our main file as we specified here. Now, before we do anything, we need to open a new terminal by hitting terminal and new terminal. In here, you'll be typing npm space i space discord.js. That command is going to be installing discord.js for us. Now, we made two new things. We made a file called package-lock.json with a bunch of info that we don't really need to care about. So I say that and we made a new folder called node underscore modules. Don't really need to care about that too. Now go back to your index.js and we'll be starting with some code. First we need to specify Discord. By that we need to make a new variable called Discord. So make a constant. Constant is also a variable basically, but a variable that can change. 
then you need to type const discord and it's equal to require a string discord.js okay. close that down then we need to specify client so make a new constant call that client you can also call this whatever you want really also discord you can also call that whatever you want but just to make it more organized we're going to be calling it client and discord so now after the equals you need to type new discord client close that down and remember js is a case sensitive uh, language so remember you need to have the for example uppercase c there you need to have the uppercase uh, d, d there so if i would type for example if I would type discord.client with a small c, this wouldn't work. Um, then you can go down and specify our prefix. So const prefix is equal to, for example, explanation mark. This would be in front of our command in Discord. So for example, the command and blah, blah, blah. And if the message does not start with the prefix, we would just return. Now we need to specify the the token. Well, we don't need to specify the token, but we need the token to log in. So go over to your Google or whatever search engine search engine you use. Go back to the Discord developer portal and back to the bot section. Under token, you should see a click to reveal token. You don't need to do that. You can just click copy. Then go into your Visual Studio code and we should type client. But login is equal, well, not equal, but there and paste. There you go. And we can also go one line down there and one line down there. And now we're gonna be just making a confirm message. So when your bot comes online, you'll know when it's online. So type client dot once. So it only happened once one time. Then you're gonna be making some brackets and then ready, then a comma, then space brackets, then arrow function. An arrow function is just like this. And then open that up with some squiggly brackets, I as I call them. Now you can console.log the confirm message. So type console.log. Then, for example, bot is online. There you go. We can also make a, for example, listening to help as you see here playing visual studio code or other bots that have like listening to help for example so you can go down and you can type client.user then you need to do a dot set activity there and for example i'll be calling making a watching youtube so i'll make a u tube there and then do like this then you need to do a comma space some squiggly brackets and then type there you go and then watching now you can save and I believe we can start debugging and node.js you should see our confirm message bot is online and voila our bot is online and it also says watching youtube you can also make whatever you want so for example i'll make a explanation mark help and then just change this to listening save that restart and it says listening to help so 
that's basically it for getting your bot online. I'll be getting back to you soon and we'll make some basic commands. So see you then. Okay, so we have now gotten our bot online with a confirm message and a nice watching YouTube status. We'll now be starting with our first commands. Remember, these are pretty simple commands, so we're not going to be getting into some advanced coding today, but I'll be making some more advanced commands later in the series. So now we need to make a function that will look after every message. So you now need to do client dot on some brackets and so message so when it sees a message then we need to define message not discord message but just message then we need a arrow function like that and there now it would be pretty dumb if every message would uh, if for example every message that is for example help would uh, respond with the help command we want to make sure the message starts with a prefix and also make sure the message is not from a bot. So by doing that, it's pretty simple. You just need to do if and then message dot content dot starts with and then prefix also if it doesn't start with and we'll do that by putting an explanation mark before the code then and that's just basically and and yeah that's just and in js and then we also want to make sure the message is not from a bot so message.author.bot and stop the code or just cross those out from not activating any code just to return then we need to define args or arguments and we need to define command. So that's pretty simple. Just do const args is equal to message dot content dot slice. That's a function. So do that. Then prefix dot length in there and go outside of that and split and then do like that forward slash space plus and then a forward slash stop that off then we need to define command so make a new constant called command that's equal to args dot shift that's a function so do like that then dot to lower not local lowercase but to lowercase that's also a function so do like that and boom now you might see we did some brackets after every function if we do that after not a function so if i would do that for example after message that would break the code so make sure not to do that now we can actually make a simple command so go down two lines and if if it's no if is also called if statement if the command is equal to and then ping we want to open that up and message dot channel dot send and then pong make that like that and there you go now we can save and we can run run with node.js our confirm message and the bot is online we can then do our prefix as we need that because we said if the message doesn't start with the prefix we just return our prefix is an explanation mark that's why I'm putting an explanation mark here then and then you see Pong. Nice. Now we're going to be making a bit more advanced command, but not too advanced. So you can do this two ways. You can do else if 
and open that up or you can do pull two lines down and just make a new if statement command is equal to and there you go i'm going to be doing this technique as um next in the next video i'm going to be making a, a command handler so yeah but if you're doing not the advanced command handler you would need to do the else if version to make it more compact then we want to make a say command so we want to say whatever comes we want the bot to say what comes after the command so first we need to define what uh, the what the message after the command is so const message let me that's equal to args dot join and then that's equal to not, not equal to but just a string and then space then do that and then we want to say if we doesn't have a message because a bot can't return a empty message we want to just return and message dot channel dot send and send a message which which says you need to specify as you need to specify a message you want me to say so we don't need to stop that off or we can but you don't need to uh, then we can do um, so go down there and message dot channel dot send and message make sure that's not in a string because if we did message it would just return message but if we do message and not a string it would return the message that comes after the command we can also if we want to delete the command that the player sent so by doing that we just go above and message dot delete that's a function so do like that and we can end that off too and that too if you want to we can save that and do like this the bot is online we can also test now if we just say you need to specify a message you want me to say but if I do say subscribe for example that's definitely not spelled correctly uh, subscribe it says subscribes subscribe and it also deletes the say message so if I for example just make some G's so you see the split in between I say and test no wrong say test you see test so that's just some simple command commands and we'll be making some more advanced commands later in the series so stay tuned for that and I'll hope to see you all in the next video.